Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of t equals 80. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we are basically looking for a number that we are going to raise to the power of itself that will give us 80. So, if you consider some numbers, maybe if you consider t equals 2, this means you have 2 to the power of 2. And this is 4, which is not 80. If you consider t equals 3, you have 3 to the power of 3. And this is 27, which is obviously less than 80. If you consider t equals 4, you basically have 4 to the power of 4. And this is 256 which is greater than 80. So, right now, we can use this to get the range of values of t. This can give us the range of values of t because we can conclude that the range of values of t is t or 3 is less than t while t is less than 4. How did I get this? Because when t is 3, I'm getting 27, and 27 is less than 80. When t is 4, I'm getting 256, and 256 is greater than 80. So the range of values is between 3 and 4, but it's less than 4. In fact, it is greater than 3, but less than 4. That is the meaning of this inequality here. So it's greater than 3, but less than 4. So with that in mind, we can know the range of values of our t, and we can solve this. So we have t to the power of t equals 80. You can also test, now that you know the range of values, so you can consider 3.1 as value of t, then 3.1 raised to the power of 3.1 will give you 80. If that doesn't satisfy the equation, you proceed to 3.2. So you continue like that, but that might actually take time, and that is not the right way of solving this exponential problem. So let's do it the right way. We can make you solve natural log of natural log of t to the power of t equals natural log of 80. Now when you have natural log of a power p, this is p times natural log of a because the log of a power p is p times log a. So based on this property of log, we apply this same property of natural log. So we are going to have t times natural log of t equals natural log of 80. Now, that being said, we need to solve this problem right now. How do we solve this? We are going to make use of what we call the Lambert W function. So this is the function that we are going to consider the lambda W function. And this function here is represented with capital letter W, which is what we have here. So, how do we use the lambda W function? When you have an expression such as x times e to the power of x, you have x here, you have times an exponential function to the power of the same x here, you can apply the Lambert W function here. And when once you apply the Lambert W function here, the result you are going to get will be x. And this doesn't have to be x. It can be a number. 3 times e power of 3. Then you have the Lambert W function here. This will give you 3. Even it can be anything at all. 
can be anything. And another name for this Lambert array function is the product logarithm. So that is another name for the Lambert array function. It's also called the product logarithm. Now, that being said, before we can apply the Lambert array function right here, we need to convert this to this part of the expression. Now we have t times ln t equals ln e t. So in order to convert this to this, we are going to make use of some tricks. First is, if you have e to the power of ln x, this simply means x because e raised to the power of ln will cancel out. So you have x left. Using this, I'm going to replace this t here with the equivalent of it, which is e power ln t. Because e raised to the power of ln will cancel out and there is t here. So e power ln cancel out and we have t left. So t is just like having e power ln t. Good. So we now have this as e to the power of ln t times ln t equals ln 8. Now, if you observe this expression here, it means the x comes before e power x, so we need to rearrange this. ln t has to come first before the e to the power of ln t. And this equals ln 80. Now that being done, the next thing I'm going to do is to apply the Lambert array function because the ln t is here and is here already and the e is here. So I apply the Lambert array function here, which is ln t times e power ln t. And this equals, I need to also apply it here as well. Of laboratory function of 80. And like what we said earlier on, when once you apply the laboratory function here, you have ln t. So this will give you ln t equals the laboratory function of ln 80. And what we need to do now is to solve for t. So to solve for t, we need to eliminate this ln. So I'm going to make use of e to the power of ln t equals e to the power of the Lambert Ray function of ln 18. So what happens here is that ln eliminates e, like what I said earlier on, and what you have left is just t equals e to the power of the Lambert Ray function of ln 18. This is our solution. This expression here will give you the actual value of t when you press it into your calculator. Now, if you cannot find this Lambert array function here, what you are going to use is what we call the product lock. Most scientific cal calculators, they have product lock instead of Lambert array function. So what you are going to do here is to have your t equals e to the power of the product logarithm or product log of natural log of 80. And immediately you insert this into your calculator, you are going to have the approximate or values of t. And this is about 3.49. So this is the value of t in six decimal places that will satisfy that equation. So if you have t to the power of t equals 80, it means 3 power 4, 9, 8, 8, 2, 8, raised to the power of 
three power four nine eight eight two eight is approximately equals to eight. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we can easily get it without wasting much time doing testing, trial and error. So guys, this is it. I believe you enjoyed this. Thank you and goodbye.